Hey, Steph listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel. Good morning from Skift. For daily updates in your inbox, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. It's Thursday, October 28th in New York City. And now here's what you need to know about the business of travel today. Leisure travel has played a major role in Hilton's recent success, but a strong rebound in business travel has contributed mightily to the company recording a third-quarter profit, writes hospitality reporter Cameron Spearance. Hilton announced on Wednesday a $240 million profit for the period, its second consecutive quarter in the black. But while leisure travel served as the driving force for the recovery, bookings are matching 2019 levels. CEO Christopher Nassetta credits business travel from small and medium sized companies for giving the hotel giant an enormous boost. Hilton had made an increased effort prior to the pandemic to attract more business from smaller companies, many of which don't have the luxury of being able to entirely work remotely. Nasetta said demand from smaller businesses is only 5 to 10 percent off of 2019 levels. Next, the United Kingdom is set to make long-haul flights more expensive. The country's government will increase its aviation tax for flights traveling more than 2,000 miles, writes corporate travel editor Matthew Parsons. The UK aviation tax, also known as air passenger duty, will rise in April of next year. The country will also introduce a new ultra-long-haul tax in April of 2023 for flights of more than 5,500 miles, which one travel executive said would unfairly impact business travelers having to fly across the world for work. The moves come just prior to the UK hosting the COP26 United Nations Climate Change Conference next week. A government official said the changes were implemented in an attempt to reduce the carbon emissions of long-haul flights. However, the UK will reduce the passenger tax on domestic short-haul flights, a step the government has taken to encourage travel in the country. And we end today with a major announcement by the U.S. State Department. It has issued its first passport with an ex-gender marker, reports editorial assistant Rashad Jordan. The U.S. joins a list of several countries, including Germany, India, Canada, and Australia, that permits its citizens to select a gender other than male or female on their official travel document. While department spokesperson Ned Price didn't reveal who the recipient of the first U.S. passport with an ex-gender marker was, he said U.S. citizens would have a third gender option on passport applications or consular reports of birth abroad after the department finishes system and form updates next year. For more travel stories and deep dives into the latest trends, head to skiff.com. To find these stories and more insight into the business of travel, subscribe to the Skift Daily newsletter at skift.com daily. Spoken Layer Hey, Skiff listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel.